So hi everyone, how are you guys doing? Um, first off, I want to thank you for watching because this is my first tutorial, I mean my first video. And I feel kind of nervous because I'm scared I'll lose my chain of thoughts. Um, anyway, so a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Lorraine and I'm currently a full-time makeup artist. I've always had a great passion for makeup ever since I was young, but, um, but I took business in school. Anyways, um, how, where did my makeup experience came from, uh, based mostly like freelancing and personal experience. Um, I like to experiment, uh, with my own makeup by my own imagination. So, I would imagine something and then I'll just do it, um, the next day when I go out or something because I, I like to save my time, like save myself from the hassle of, uh, putting on my makeup and removing them. I don't like doing that. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. At first, like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to start my own, um, YouTube videos because, like, I don't want to make a fool of myself and I'm just too shy. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, and... But then my friends, like, they're very supportive, and I really have to thank you them for that, because, yeah, it's mostly, like, pure pressure that got me into doing this, but I know, uh, doing this is for my, for, like, for myself. And, um, yeah, my friends always tell me, oh, you should start your own videos, because, uh, since you are a makeup artist, you can teach people how to do makeup, but, like, of course, like, everyone does makeup differently, and they all have their own unique way of, um, to, like, makeup application, right? So, for, of course, for my channel, like, it's gonna be, uh, makeup application my way, because, but the way I do it is a little bit different. Like, like, say, some people put on, like, eyeliner last, but I would put on eyeliner first before, like, my shadows and stuff. Um, but yeah, whether you like it or not, uh, please feel free to comment. Your feedback will definitely help me improve. Um, so anyways, because of, uh, this is my first video, I just want to do, like, I just want to start off with something small. So I am going to choose some products that I really like and I cannot live without on a daily basis. So first off, I want to start off with this um, liquid foundation uh, from Motives. It's a customized foundation. So this foundation is only unique to my own skin color and skin need. Um, I made this foundation and this foundation, what is good about it is that like it's customized of course. It's mineral based, um, vitamin A and E, uh, oil free and also... Um, it has a uh, good coverage. It's lightweight and it feels like a moisturizer. Like when you put it on, it feels like a moisturizer. So that's why I really like it's not like cakey. It's really, really natural. So you can use this like even without like your full makeup. You can use it like just to cover like blemishes and stuff when you go out. Like if you're insecure about your own skin, use this. And next, I want to introduce uh, the Miami Glow. Uh, this Miami Glow is the only bronzer that Motives has. Um, it's mineral base as well. And it's a little sparkly, as you can see. And it's almost done because I use this like almost every day whenever I put on my makeup. Um, What's good about this bronzer is that um, it creates a natural glow for you. So it's not like about the pigmentation. It's really about like um, it goes according to your own oil. Like because throughout the day your skin produces oil. So the oil helps the, the oil goes well with the bronzer to create this natural glow. Next uh, would be Motive's uh, Loose Blush Powder. And this... Uh, mineral blush powder is good because uh, you can control the the darkness of your um, 
blush. Uh, for me, I like to put my blush like right after I contour my face. By the way, this Miami Glow is really good for contouring as well. And this, um, I usually use it after I contour my face. Um, and I usually like it um, in the middle. So you have to, like this blush is really pigmented, so you have to really, really be careful of how much you're putting because like you can't end up putting like too much and your face is going to be too dark. And you don't want that when you have um, darker, like more smoky eye or something. Because when your eyes is dark, you should have lighter blush. Anyway, so uh, moving on to the eyes, I like this uh, base, eye base. Um, this also act like a highlighter to me. So, but I'll explain why and how to do it in my tutorial. It, like in one of my future tutorial because it's too much to explain it now. Um, next, I like this NSWE, um eye base color. Well, I call it eye base color because I use it as a base. Um, it's Anna uh 701. It's beige color, so really, really natural for base. Or you can use the base color Kosh Room by... Um, MAC. MAC base color is really nice too. And they're both really similar colors. So, yeah. And next would be this eyeliner that I use. And this is uh, like a pen. It's by Motives as well. And this eyeliner is called the Lux Precision Eyeliner. Um, so it looks like this, the tip. It's really, really fine tip. And what I like about this pen is that, like, I can control the pigmentation of my eyeliner. So, uh, I use this for the top and also for the bottom eyeliner because this one, uh, it doesn't go on harsh. Like, I don't know how to explain. Um, like, you know how some people, they won't use eye, like liquid eyeliner on the bottom because it's too harsh. But then for this, because you can control the pigmentation yourself, it doesn't look harsh at all. So, yeah, that's why I use this. And also, I use this um, Motives Automatic um, Eye Pencil. And it has a smudging end as well, so you can always smudge your eyeliner if you want more of a smoky look. And this one, I like it because it doesn't bleed, and you don't have to um, sharpen it. It doesn't bleed because, like, what I mean by it doesn't bleed is because um, whenever your eye get watery, like, or like the inner corner or the outer corner, those are the places where it tends to uh, smudge throughout the day. So you don't have to, like, reapply it with this. And um, an eyeshadow, I mean, that I use for my brows would be this uh, brune color from MAC. Um, for eyebrows, I use eyeshadow because it's um, more natural, and I like it brown because my hair is black. So your eyeshadow, like your eyebrows, should always be like around one to two shades lighter than your own hair color, or else like it won't be natural looking at all unless um, you dyed your hair a different color then that's an exception and I use this um, eyebrow pencil by Rimmel I really like this pencil because um, it fills in the spot perfectly that I miss whenever I use the the, the shadow because uh, this one, it helps erase my mistake as well. I like to use this to re erase my my mistake. And <clears throat> it helps really well. Like, if you see my eyebrows, like, it's very, defi like, defined. And it looks smooth, right? Anyways, and I want you to explain this mascara. This mascara is by Motives again. 
yeah, I, I use a lot of Modus products because I find them very good. And this is called the Lustrify Black um, Mascara. And I, I normally use this whenever I use uh, false, false lashes, which is most of the time because I find that my lashes itself is too short because I'm Asian. And, and it sucks to have short lashes because like when you have longer lashes it makes your eye look a lot uh, a lot better well that's my own opinion and this um, mascara actually uh, it thickens and it uh, gives you length as well so it's really good and um, on the days that I don't wear lashes I would use um, Anna Sui Long Lash and Anna Sui Volumize. I would use both of them together to create the my desired lash. Um, and next, I want to show you this eyeshadow that I like using. It's called Pearl by Motives. And this pearl color, I usually use it in my inner corner and to highlight my brow bone. It looks really nice on, and it's very, very like natural, and it's sparkly. If you can see, like pearl eyes, not really exactly sparkly. And like I also use this Mac uh, Myler shadow to highlight. Like I can highlight my, like I used this before I used the pearl though, because this one will help me like blend off any harsh harsh part of the eyeshadow like say well right now I don't really have anywhere to show you but in my tutorials I will show you why, why this is so good and last but not least my favorite um, lashes princess I like using princess because um, princess lashes you can get it at like P mall um, and it's cheap and it's um, long lasting I like like I use one pair of them and um, one pair could last me about like three weeks to a month so if you look very closely to the lashes on this line I like lashes like this because it's more flexible to use. Like you can um, bend it however your eye shape is. Uh, that's why I like it. And if it's too long for your lashes, you can uh, always trim it. And for the lashes, I like using a uh, lash grip. But MAC has a uh, really good eyelash glue as well. And this lash grip it lasts a really long time and it's a adhesive waterproof glue so can't go wrong with that and for the lips I usually like using um, pink I don't know I'm a pink fan for lips and unless like I have like no like really really minimal eye makeup now I use something like more like much darker more vibrant because uh, that will help you create um, a dramatic look but then when you have like um, minimal makeup on your eye you can always use a lighter color as well for your lips to create that natural look and I will show you all that um, in my future tutorials so stay tuned and I just want to thank you again for watching and please subscribe if you like my videos thank you bye